China is spending $3 billion to build panda-shaped solar farms in order to get more young people interested in renewable energy. As of July 2017, China has built one panda-shaped solar power plant and has begun construction on another. The UN, Panda Green Energy, and the Chinese government are working together to build 99 more solar farms across China. The project is expected to cost $3 billion. The first panda-shaped solar plant is 250 acres and is located in northwestern China. The plant is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, which runs along the Silk Road. The second panda-shaped solar plant is located in Datong County, a region in northern China. There is a statue of Tesla in Silicon Valley that radiates free Wi-Fi. It was done as an homage to his vision for wireless communication. The statue was created by artist Terry Geyer and unveiled in 2013. The statue depicts Tesla holding a wireless light bulb, which contains a Wi-Fi router that broadcasts to nearby visitors. The statue is a tribute to Tesla's vision for wireless communication. Heating a magnet above the Curie temperature causes the magnetic domains to be disrupted permanently. Mild heating causes a reduction in the magnetism. However, when it cools the full magnetism is restored. At around 80 degrees Celsius, a magnet will lose its magnetic force and it will become demagnetized permanently if exposed to this temperature for a period, or if heated above its Curie temperature. Heat the magnet even more, and it will melt and eventually vaporize. Thus, a magnet can lose its properties if it is heated, hammered or if it is dropped from a height. Monowai is a village in Boyd County, Nebraska, and is known for being the only incorporated place in the United States with a population of one. In 2010, the United States Census counted Elsie Eiler as the only resident of the village. Eiler is the mayor, clerk, treasurer, librarian, and bartender of the town. During the 2000 census, the village had a total population of two, only one married couple, Rudy and Elsie Eiler, lived there. Eiler became the only resident of Monowai after her husband Rudy passed away in 2004. Tourists can visit Eiler's Monowai Tavern six days a week, where she serves burgers, hot dogs, and beers. Monowai, like many other small communities in the Great Plains, lost its younger residents to cities that were experiencing growth and offering better jobs.